Berkman, a pleasure. Thanks for joining Thanks, us. Jack. Congressman Ron Paul stops in South Carolina tonight to make the case that he is the best anti-Romney candidate. He believes the other candidates should drop out and support him to beat the pretender to the throne of conservatism. Congressman Paul will be here with us on the show tomorrow. But with two strong showings, is it safe to say that libertarian, free market, limited government ideals are now part of the Republican mainstream? Let's bring in Congressman Paul's former chief of staff, Lou Rockwell, now founder and chair of the Mises Institute and a good friend of the show. Lou, it's a pleasure. Welcome back to Freedom Watch. Thank you, Judge. Have we reached the point uh, in January of 2012 where it is now uh, acceptable and mainstream to be a serious libertarian? Well, it's bubbling up from below. I mean, the, the establishment, of course, is being uh, sort of pulled kicking and screaming into the reality that the Republican base, yes, is more and more libertarian, especially among young people. Uh, but, you know, Ron Paul's so unusual. As Gary North recently pointed out, he, he's a master of a rhetoric. Not only does he change people's minds in his speeches, he can make them activists against their previous ideas. I mean, he's changing people by the millions. And uh, so the establishment is forced to deal with this. They hate it. The mainstream media hate it. But they are being forced to deal with it. This is the libertarian revolution going on. What, what will uh, happen uh, if Ron Paul does not get the nomination? and the establishment ignores him, ignores his base, and ignores the bubbling up, as you have uh, characterized it so nicely, of all these freedom-generated ideas and values. Well, it'll be Obama in the second, uh, second administration, because uh, Romney's not going to be able to win. Romney is just another George W. Bush, and people are sick of that. Any Republican who knows anything about recent years and about our economic crisis knows the last thing we need is another Bush. That's Romney. He's another big government guy. So I think it'll mean the election of Obama. Um, and we'll see. They're going to try to marginalize Ron, of course. They're going to right. keep it up. I think it's going to become impossible for them. I think what? they're not going to be allowed to do it. Uh, they're going to hate it, but they're going to be forced into treating him fairly. You uh, live and work in Alabama. What are the two or three most important issues that Congressman Paul should press in South Carolina in the next 10 days in order to get ahead of the pack, to distinguish himself uh, from Mitt Romney, and to take the establishment on head on? Well, it's, uh, I think it's economics. I mean, R Romney may talk a good game occasionally. Ron Paul has lived the game. I mean, his whole life has been dedicated to free market principles. Also, he knows far more about economics than anybody else running. So he needs to talk about why is there so much economic trouble in South Carolina? Why are so many people uh, losing their jobs and their homes? Why are people despairing about the futures of their children? What can Ron Paul not only knows the diagnosis, he knows the cure. So he can actually explain to people in the most understandable and convincing way what has to happen in Washington to fix this country and keep us from going down this economic hole. How, how is the libertarian movement different today in 2012 uh, than it was, say, in 1980 when uh, Ronald Reagan ran for president, or even uh, 12 years later when Bill Clinton ran for president? I mean, it's what, it's what Ron has done to introduce libertarian ideas, the ideas of Mises and Rothbard and Hayek and Senholtz and all the other great economists and great libertarian thinkers. He's got kids reading books. Have you ever heard of a political leader who actually has his followers read a bunch of books? And he doesn't, it doesn't instruct them to read them. They want to read. They want to know these ideas. This is something that uh, I don't, certainly never in my lifetime have I seen anything like this. Got it. So it's a, it's a much more idea-focused fact-based libertarianism than certainly was in the case under Ronald Reagan. Lou Rockwell, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Judge. Tomorrow, Newt Gingrich is scheduled to appear.